Senior leadership from across the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault came together for a day of professional development hosted by the division's commanding general, Major General J.P. McGee. The LPD centered around survivability against enemy artillery and fires. I think this is important because I am confident that in the future fight, we will have to face enemies who rely on artillery as their principal killing weapon. Okay, As far as I can tell, and all the research I've done, all the people that I've talked to, the only way you can counter artillery and rocket fires is by getting into the earth, by digging in and building positions that are going to be resistant to artillery. Like there is no other way. After a quick history lesson on the importance of digging fighting positions and a brief overview of the standard that they needed to be built to, teams were assigned. Team Golf is 2 BCT Star Major. And the digging commenced. So let me tell you again how I think this fits into what I think is going to be the operational employment of this division going forward. Okay? I think at some point we're going to be called to do a joint forceful entry. It's the unique capability that we bring to the Army. Okay. We're going to go in and we're going to do multiple brigade level air assaults and we're going to seize key terrain until more heavily armored forces come in in order to reduce the number of casualties we take, in order to make sure whatever, whatever fight we're in still has national support. It was over. We just popped an arty sim about two minutes ago and I think that I heard three or four positions say, oh, I wish that was index. So they've been digging now for uh, approximately three hours. Um, they're, they're certainly feeling it. So With fighting positions completed, it was time to move on to part two of the LPD, seeing the effects of artillery fire on fighting positions. And as the smoke cleared, the leaders inspected the devastation that the artillery left behind. But more importantly, how being dug in increases the chance of survival. What do you think, sir? It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 There's a reason why they call us the king of battle. Yeah. So you saw how many rounds landed in and around, and I mean, right on top. That's a 105, that's, what's that, 10 meters, 15 meters? That's a 105 round is right there. If you're in the bottom of this, you would still be okay. Okay, and that's really what I want you to take away from this, more importantly than anything, is the importance of protection. And us following our own doctrine in terms of how we have our soldiers survive when we enter the next fight. Because again, we're going to be fighting against an enemy that's going to try to kill us with their artillery. And their artillery is not nearly as precise or as good. So they don't really they don't, they don't rely on precision like we do. They're just going to be slinging a whole lot of rounds at us in hopes of hitting us. So if we're dug in, they're not going to be able to dislodge us. Reporting from Fort Campbell, Kentucky, Sergeant First Class Jadel Samara.